In the 1500s, the seas of Ireland were controlled by a fearsome and powerful pirate woman. Her name was Grace O'Malley. Today we will learn how Grace defied English rule, drove away slave ships, and became one of Ireland's greatest ever fighters. This is Knowledge Voyage. But before this video starts, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell so that you can get all of our weekly videos about history. Thank you. In the 1500s, Ireland was occupied by England. England was ruled by its fire-haired Queen Elizabeth I. But on the other side of the Irish Sea was another red-haired woman carving out her own domain on the high seas, and her name was Grace O'Malley. Grace O'Malley was born in County Mayo to an Irish noble family who had lost power and land to the English, but Grace would make up for it by carving out her own empire on the sea. Her piracy was not just to terrify her opponents, but also to protect her community. Ireland, like most of Europe at the time, was often raided by Islamic slave raiders from the Barbary coast. They came to kidnap young blonde and red-haired women, as they were highly sought out of the Ottoman court harems. Ireland was targeted due to its many red-haired women, but Grace O'Malley made sure there was one red-haired woman the Barbary slave raiders would regret meeting. Whilst at sea, Grace fell into labour, and within hours of giving birth to her son, Barbary pirates attacked her ship. But Grace was a fearsome fighter. Rather than hide, she burst out of the hull blazing her pistols and roaring defiance. She shot the slave raiders' commanders and rallied her crew to fight off the remaining invaders. This tale of a terrifying red-haired female pirate was passed along Barbary slave raiders, who wisely avoided Ireland during her control. As a result, she saved countless women and girls from enslavement. But Grace was only getting started. The English were trying to tighten their control on Ireland, and Grace had a plan to fight back. Using the inlets in Western Ireland's coast, she launched multiple pirate raids on English ships, shattering their resolve and seizing supplies and gold. She became deeply feared amongst English sailors, but rather than be angry, England's Queen Elizabeth I couldn't help but admire this enemy. They had much in common. They were both about the same age. They had both defied odds and thrived in a man's world, and they both had the allegiance of their subjects and were used to winning. In 1593, Grace O'Malley was invited to negotiate with Queen Elizabeth I at Greenwich Palace in London. The meeting went well. Grace refused to bow, and when Elizabeth offered her a title, she refused. When asked why she hadn't bowed or accepted a title, Grace explained that she too was a queen and couldn't accept such behaviour from an equal, and rather than be offended, Queen Elizabeth I was actually deeply impressed. Thanks to this show of strength, Elizabeth negotiated a treaty that retained the O'Malley clan's independence and agreed to release one of Grace's sons from an English jail. In short, Grace was a force of nature. Grace O'Malley was a ferocious warrior and terrorised her opponents at sea. She was also a powerful diplomat, swaggering into the palace of her sworn enemy and displaying such strength and confidence that she obtained extraordinary concessions. In short, Grace O'Malley was a true Irish warrior heroine and even today is known as Ireland's Pirate Queen. Thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.